what's up guys in today's video we got this awesome review and this is the marvel legends joe fix it the incredible hulk you guys could see that this is a great version of hulk and he is wearing a suit now this one was a build a figure wave back in the day but today he's finally in its own figure released i believe about a year or two ago and it retailed for 30 dollars, which it is pretty pricey but i'm happy to tell you that i end up getting this figure at ollie's for a decent price of $19.99, which it is still pretty expensive considering that Ollie's does sell their figures pretty affordable, but lately they have been selling their figures just a little bit more. And on the back of the box, you guys can see that he is 8.1 inches or 20.7 centimeters. You guys can see that he does have interchangeable head sculpt as well as two different hands and a Tommy gun. All right, so this is what he looks like in the packaging. You guys can see that he wasn't tampered with, removed, or changed, which was a lot of problems that a lot of the past figures were getting with that closed window box. So let's go ahead and open this up and go straight into the accessories first. So first, we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up. And this is the Tommy gun. So you guys can see that the drum is removable, which I think is pretty cool. I think it adds a lot of playability and you could use this for other figures as well so putting that in there just clicks in place really well detailed it would have been nice if it had a little wash to it but overall not too bad next we do have a head sculpt right here this is going to be a fun addition i think you guys can see that man look at that head sculpt we'll probably take a closer look at it a little bit later hopefully if we get the time but you guys can see that detail the gray his eyes Definitely really good. You guys can see the peg right there. And then the detail on the hat. This is actually nice for them to include this. And here we do have the interchangeable hands, which I do appreciate in Marvel Legends to include that. You guys do see that it comes with two fists. Pretty hard plastic as well. Now these hinges could have been a little, or the pegs could be a little bit thicker so they don't break. But as long as they're not really too stuck or too stiff, it should be okay. You guys can see how that moves, moves pretty nice. So let's go ahead and go into the actual figure, which is Joe Fix It. So he feels like a pretty heavy figure, which is actually surprising to me. Definitely used a lot of plastic on this figure. And here we have Joe Fix It. Now, like I said before, he was a previous Build-A-Figure Wave, and I don't have any of those pieces because those were pretty expensive back in the day. And even the resale is pretty expensive, I think. I think he could range around $50 to $60, I believe, for that model. But this one is really nice, in my opinion. Honestly, I'm really glad I was able to pick this one up. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into the details of the figure. You guys can see that his suit is rubber. It's a nice soft rubber, so it's not too hard, which is actually really good. You can see the detail on the pants, also on his dress shoes, which is really good in my opinion. And he does have a peg hole right here at the bottom in the event that you want to, I guess, use him on a stand. And on the back is basically the same thing as a front. This soft plastic suit goes all the way around. Now, if you guys really want to nitpick, you guys can see that there is a color di difference between this soft plastic to the hard plastic of the arms and the legs but it's really not too bad especially when you see it from afar and you guys can see his fade right there slick back hair as well as that nice medium fade right there skin fade is a little piece of hair sticking out right here on the front when it comes to the head scope i think i prefer this one he looks angry looks really well detailed you guys can see that is his whole face right there i really like this one we're gonna go ahead and look into articulation here in a little bit but looking a little bit closer you guys can see that detail you guys can see he has that napkin right there the pockets on the side Man, this figure is really dope and really well detailed. You guys can see all the creases on his suit. Now, I'm not sure if this is the same sculpt as the previous ones. It could be a new sculpt. I'm not entirely sure. So let's go ahead and get into the articulation aspect of this figure. So when it comes to articulation, he might be hindered just a little bit because he is a big figure. So let's go ahead and look at the elbows. And from what it looks like, it is single jointed, which is not too bad. It's not really a figure that I would care that it has double jointed elbows. But as you guys can see, single jointed. Also, the creases do go all the way around up to the hinge. You guys can see that the paint lines kind of go to it, but it stops just a little bit at the elbow. 
really not a big deal in my opinion. Now both arms do go the same way as far as articulation wise. And then let's see if the arms can do a 360, which it can. And I don't believe it has butterfly joints. It's very hard to tell, but I don't believe it really does. So we're gonna go ahead and move the arm forward or up right there and see the ab crunch. So he somewhat has an ab crunch, but not really entirely. I think he is restricted obviously because of the coat. But that's not really too bad but also what's really cool you can see the white underneath now you can see this as a pro and a con because essentially it's supposed to be you know a one-piece suit the whole jacket but it is cool i guess to see that you can see the little white underneath now if this did turn into a vest it would make sense or if it had interchangeable arms where it would show that it was ripped off it would be kind of cool but i guess some people could see this as a negative or a pro now it would be cool if you could remove this piece right here but then again you'll be left with the arms having the same blue color sleeves as the jacket so moving the arm around does feel pretty stiff not in a bad way, pretty firm. You guys can feel the joints moving pretty well, in my opinion. And when it comes to the hands, the hands move fairly freely, not too bad. And we're gonna go ahead and remove these hands in a little bit. After we're done with the articulation, we'll check out the head sculpt and also the hands just to see what they look like. So let's go ahead and go to the leg portion of this articulation. So the thighs do swivel, which is pretty cool, I guess. Not really sure why they would need this, but you know, it's still nice to have. And when it comes to the knees right there, single jointed knees. Now, this was double. I think it would be a lot better in my opinion. But, you know, single, I guess, is not too bad either. And when it comes to the ankles, they move very slightly. And let's see if it can do a 360. It, I feel like it can, but I don't want to push it because I don't want to risk breaking it. But let's just say that it can. But what's really cool, honestly, that I didn't mention that the shoes right here, the dress shoes, are a nice high gloss. And I do wish they were a little bit more shinier, but overall it's really not too bad. Now the rest of the suit does have this high, somewhat mid high gloss finish to it. And if it was all matte with the boots or the shoes being shiny, I think it would be really nice in my opinion. Now, honestly, when it comes to articulation, yes, it's not that great. But considering how big this figure is, and it's like a Hulk-like figure, I think the articulation is really good for what it is. I'll definitely give this articulation probably like a 7.5 out of 10. I don't have too many Hulk figures, so I really don't have too much to compare this to. A lot of my ratings is based off my previous figures. So let's go ahead and remove the hands and the head sculpt to see how easy it is to apply. So removing the hand is pretty easy. Now, I just don't like that that peg is so small. Now, I do wish it was a little bit thicker because I feel like it could break. So this is not something that I plan on doing all that often. So here we do have a fist and it looks really good in my opinion. Let's go ahead and change that head sculpt. So changing that head sculpt was a lot easier than the hands pretty nice you guys can see that it does create a shadow right here on his head really well detailed now i am enjoying this figure a lot now i'm not sure exactly where i would display him specifically but man this figure is so dope i am glad i was able to get him for $19.99 now would he be worth 30 i still think he would be because it's a lot of plastic it is fairly heavy interchangeable head sculpts, interchangeable hands, a weapon accessory. You really can't ask for much more than this. Honestly, when it comes to accessories, I think I give this figure a solid 8.5 out of 10. I would like to give it a nine, but I think an 8.5 is pretty fair. I'm not really too familiar with this character all that much. So, you know, I'm not sure if he does have any other accessories besides a tummy gun, but overall is not too bad in my opinion. And when it comes to the overall figure, when it comes to the articulation, the box, accessories, the actual image of the character, I think I'll give this figure an eight out of 10. Definitely a great pickup. I love this figure. And do I recommend getting him? Yes, I do. Now, I don't recommend paying the resale price. You guys have to check out other stores like Ollie's, TJ Maxx, Burlington, Ross, all those stores. You guys can find amazing figures. Now, I don't really know too much about this figure, like I stated before. So I would have never purchased him at Target or Walmart, wherever he released or in the Hasbro website. But finding him at a discount store was the most ideal thing, in my opinion. So putting in the Tommy gun was fairly easy, in my opinion. Now, the only thing that doesn't work really well is this hand right here in order to grip it. Now, it does look kind of weird if you, tr if you try to force it. 
You can have him displayed in different poses with this weapon. Now, I'm not really sure why the Hulk would even need a weapon like this, but it's such a great accessory in my opinion. So for scale purposes, here we have the Joe Fix-It. We have Marvel Legends, Mark One, Iron Man, and then we do have the No Way Home, Tobey Maguire, Spider-Man. As you guys can see, it does give a little bit perspective of how big this Hulk is and definitely how appealing he looks on the shelf. Overall, you guys let me know what do you guys think of this figure and comment down below if you guys ended up picking this up or if you guys ended up getting it at Ollie's and I'll see you guys in the next video.